Have you ever wondered how to make um, a shaker cake topper with your Cricut using all acetate? So you have like the acetate on the front and the back so it's see-through. Today I'm showing you how. We're going to head over to our computer because I'm actually going to show you how to design it in Design Space and then we will go over to my desk and put it all together. We have the little tiny ones which can be used for here we go, we, which can be used for uh, cupcake toppers. And then we have the bigger one, which can be used for um, cake toppers. But not only that, hold on one second. You may remember, or you may not, because I didn't post on YouTube, but I, I did post on my socials. I made these little boxes for our Christmas place settings, which were so cute. And I figured if you had something to give to somebody like a child, your child or your niece, your nephew, uh, classmates, whatever the case may be. How cute would this be on here with their name on it instead of the love? <gasps> so cute. Oh, I love the font. So the big one would look like that, or we could do the small one as well. Adorable. So little treat boxes. Um, so many possibilities that we can do with these little shakers. So let's pop over to our computer, get this tutorial started on how to create this. There are this um, tutorial can be used for so many things. Um, I made the shaker champagne glasses for my New Year's Eve photo booth. Uh, so that's an idea as well. But um, of course you can make it into a star you can make letters uh, for somebody's name for their birthday, maybe for a card. Oh my goodness, all these ideas are coming to my head now. But this little shaker can be used for so many things. So let's get over to the computer and get this started. Okay, we are back at our computer and we are going to start the tutorial on how to make the little sh shaker, heart, cake topper, cupcake topper, name tags for bags for little boxes like what I did for Christmas whatever your heart desires you can use these for uh they're really cute and um I'll show you all the glitter that I bought to use for it so you're going to want to start first with the shape of your choice if this is for Valentine's Day so I will be picking a heart for Valentine's Day and if you go over to the left side of your screen you'll see shapes over here click on it all of your shapes come up that are available to you this is what's available for free from Cricut if you have access then you'll have more shapes available but you really don't need access um, to to do this uh, I just like access because I just can't be bothered to be to find something that I like and not be able to use it without having to pay for it so I just figure oh, let me go ahead and just pay for it but um, totally up to you and where you're at financially. And I am gonna change this to the color white. This shaker topper that I'm doing is going to be clear, like how I did the champagne glasses, just cause I really liked how those turned out. So I am doing it the same way. So we have our clear, um, our piece that will be with the acetate. We need two of these. One will go at the back and one will go on the top. So we're just going to go over to this side here and we're going to hit duplicate. And there we have our two hearts. We need one more of these hearts to come onto our screen. So like I just did, you can do it over there, but I'm just going to show you another way is to hit, uh, to right click on your image and hit duplicate, or you can use shortcuts if that works for you as well. Okay, so these two pieces will be for our acetate, but between the acetate, we need it to be raised between the acetate so that the glitter can sit in nicely. So this piece is what we're going to use to be able to do that. We need to offset this, and we're gonna offset it the opposite direction so that it offsets on the inside of the heart. So at the top of your screen, you'll see offset, 
if you click on that, you can go up, which will offset on the outside. If you go down, it'll offset on the inside. The offset I'm going to go with is minus 0 0.25 inches. And these, the curved one will look like this, which is not ideal. So I will choose a squared corner. That way we have a nice offset with no weird curve. We're going to hit apply. This is going to be very similar to the way we did the outline of the name. We now have our two pieces, the one behind, which is the same size as this one. And now we have the one in front that we just um, brought in by using offset. We want to select both of them. So when I select designs on my canvas, I just click on the side of it anywhere and just grab the two. You just need to make sure that you are covering the two pieces so that it will select the two. And now you can see over here, the white heart and the black heart here have been selected. At the bottom, we have our slice. Click on that. Give this a minute to go. And now we've, we have our, I guess you can say border. The border is what we are going to stack together to ensure that our glitter will go in and be able to be, to sh we'll be able to shake it around. So we can remove this piece and this piece. And we're going to delete both pieces. Now we're just left with that. I'm going to just change the color so you can see, but it will just sit between the two pieces of acetate just like that. So I actually want this to cut in white, um, but because this is white, because it's technically going to be clear, I'm just going to duplicate this uh, three more times. This will give me a nice raise between the acetate and, or sorry, the two pieces of acetate. We will need one more piece, sorry, two more pieces of this. Well, one, technically, I am going to put one at the back just to make it look finished. So I will duplicate this two more times, just like so. And I'm going to change the color because I want to cut this out of a different uh, piece of paper. So we'll put red. Just like that. Okay, so here is our border for the front and the back. These pink ones will go in as our razor between the two acetate pieces. So I'm just going to actually put all of this together and make it smaller. I do have it big just so you can get an idea. Enter this all perfect and I'm gonna make it yeah we'll do four inches so I'm gonna make this 4.32 all of our pieces are here we are going to hit make it or make and there we have it so we're gonna have three mats with the different colors so go ahead and choose your colors of your liking and let's go over and cut this uh, on our machine the acetate I am using is I got it from Michaels, of course, in Canada. That's all we really have is Michaels or Amazon. It's by Recollections and it's just clear acetate sheets. There's 12 pieces and they're 12 by 12. And they're just literally clear sheets, like so. And I also got these two paper packages um, that I absolutely love. There's some really cute paper in here. Like, look at how cute this is. Ah! Um, I just chose a glitter one for this project, but you have so many options. This is gorgeous as well. So pretty and then this one also right now it's buy one get one free at michael's um but there you go some gorgeous sheets of paper and these i'm absolutely in love with got a favorite project with that but yeah so there you go those are the packages of course your 
craft store will have options as well, I'm sure. I have these packages of glitter. Uh, this is like a sequin looking glitter. We have the conversation hearts. Uh, they say love all over them. We have some lips and X's and O's. So cute. And then we have these hearts you can see that there's all sorts of sizes and we also have these gold hearts and purple hearts and there's some stars and things in there as well um so that's our options whatever you like you can do of course so now we need to put this together so we of course have our acrylic hearts we have our pieces that will help us create that gap between the two um, acetate sheets. That's what this is for. Bring them together a little bit, maybe, anyhow. And we have our front, that will be the border for it. And I'm gonna do one on the back just to kind of complete it. So what I start off with first is by gluing each one of these down to here. Actually, sorry, I don't do that. I glue each one of these together to each other. So the four of these we'll do first, then we'll glue the four onto one, and then we'll move on. Glue of choice. You can use what you like. You can use tape. You can, uh, tape is a little funny. You want to use, so whatever you decide to use, you need to ensure that the glitter cannot escape. I, as you may have heard me say before, love this Barely Arts precision craft glue uh, has this really tiny tip which makes it super easy for you to go ahead and glue your project together so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now uh, it will spread uh, the really good thing about this glue as well is it's um, it dries clear so you won't see any of your mistakes or excess glue that you might have and it takes a minute or a few seconds before it actually sets so it gives you time to put it together and this is no way um this is in no way um sponsored by barely arts i just really really love their glue so we'll do it like that and then we'll do it again going to be a piece of acetate so I'm actually going to just go ahead and get the glue on the back of this so we're going to put the acetate on the back once we have it secured to the back we're going to add our glitter to the to the inside of it and get the top one to secure everything in Make sure your hands are pretty clean when you're doing this part because because it is acetate it will show everything just like so that's looking pretty good so far we're gonna open our open our packages i think i'm gonna put a little bit of all of them in we'll see how it goes I don't really have a scoop, so I'm just using this guy here. We'll get some of this in. This glitter would be really cute for tumblers as well. Okay, and just a little bit of the gold. Now we're going to put our top acetate piece on it, just our same glue. We're going to try and make sure we get the entire heart outline covered with glue because we want to ensure that our glitter doesn't fall out.
Perfect. Perfect. And lastly, this is going to go on the top and this is going to cover up all of our little detail that we had. And there you have it, the cutest little shaker for Valentine's Day. Now, I highly recommend if you are going to do this uh, to make it for a cake topper, I would use a clear cake stick. Of course, if you use white, it's gonna show. The clear would be nicer. Um, I used it before on of another cake topper that I did. You might have seen it. I don't have them here with me right now. I if I were to do it, I would just put a little bit of hot glue here and here and stick the two pieces together. I'm actually going to finish. And we shake it and there you go. Everything is in there. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that bell button so you are notified when I post a new video. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. As always, happy crafting!